In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at the each function provided by the underscore JS code library. In order to uh, access this function, you first have to include the underscore JS file in your web page. You can do so by referencing it via a CDN like I've done here, or you can actually download the web, you can actually download the JavaScript file into your web project and then uh, and then reference it that way. So if we come down here, basically the the each function, the purpose of it is to iterate over a collection of items. Now that collection could be an array, it could be uh, properties on a JavaScript object, or it could be some type of other collection type of data type like a, a node list on a DOM element. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here with a simple array. We're going to do an array of colors. We'll do red, uh, blue, yellow, and white. And we'll come down here and we will do underscore dot each and then we'll pass in our array colors and then we're going to have a function. Now this function is going to basically have three different parameters get passed into it. One is going to be the value of the item at that particular point in the collection. The next one is going to be either an index or a key value. So we'll just call it a key. And the last item is actually going to be the original collection itself. So we'll just put items. All right. So let's come in here and we'll do console.log value. All right. We'll switch back to our web browser. We'll reload. And we'll see that we get red, blue, yellow, and white. Now I'm going to come in here and actually take a key value here. And we're just going to say key equal to value. And we'll output that to the screen. Let's put a little space in there to make it a little nicer to look at. Reload this. So at index 0, I have red. At index 1, I have blue. 2 is yellow, and 3 is white. And then finally, we can do a console.dir items. And we can reload this. And we'll see that the console or items represents the original array passed into the each function. So that demonstrates how to do arrays. Let's create an object now with a number of properties on it. So we'll say var obj, and we'll give it some properties: name Bob, age 32, weight. Uh, we'll say 150. And then we'll say eye color brown. So now we have this person, or this, this object here. We can actually pass this directly into our each. And now we can run this. Let's take a look at the output. Name equal to Bob, age equal to 32, weight equal to 150, and eye color equal to brown. So the key in this case represents the property name. And the value, of course, represents the value that is assigned to that particular property. Now, if we output the items again, we're going to see that the item represent or items represents the actual object passed in that we're doing the iteration over for the properties. All right. So the last thing we want to take a look at is we want to take a look at uh, this DOM element up here. We have this unordered list called car list, and it has a bunch of list items. And so what we want to do is we actually want to uh, get a reference to the carless DOM element and then iterate over its items. So let's do var carlist element document docket element by ID. And we have carlist. And now we're going to grab carlist here and we're going to pass in carlist element dot child nodes. Now child nodes is of type node list and because it's a collection type of data type each is able to iterate over it. So let's comment that out real quick and we'll reload this. If we can see what this looks like. So the key for each one of these represents the index value. Okay? And then the value represents whatever object that is as a child node. Now for these child nodes we're basically going to have a combination of 
text DOM elements and HTML list item elements. And that's what you see here. So we have some text, we have a list item, we have some more text, we have a list item, we have some more text, so on and so forth. So if we want to, we can actually come in here and say console.dir, the actual value, which is actually going to be an actual DOM element in the DOM. And we can reload that. We can see what that looks like. So here's our text item here and all of its information. And there's our list item and all of its information. So as you can see here, with the each function available in underscore, we can iterate over all types of collections. Um, and anything from an array to object properties to actual node lists. And the ability to do this is actually very convenient and makes it a great way to uh, be able to process each of those items and perform some type of operation on it.